This is Yellow Ribbon Boy. We'll do a video of him alone and then I'll put both puppies together. Um, okay, so he has, he's a little bit more elegant type dog, a little bit more refined. He's got a, a leaner muzzle, a little bit lighter in body. He's not quite as chunky of a feel to him uh, as, as much as his brother with the red, red ribbon. Um, super pretty boy. The markings on this puppy are a lighter color apricot. I think they're going to be more of like a cream instead of an apricot. Hi, baby. I know you're so sweet. You're so sweet. Yes, you are. Oops. Let me set him down. Oh, there you go. Okay. I know both are, are very similar in temperament from what we can tell right now. And their personalities are, are pretty much the same. There's not a whole lot of development that goes on until they reach about 49 days, which is why people pretty much uh, do the temperament testing at 49 days. I think sometimes the puppies are a little bit more mentally immature. Um, and I think honestly, they should maybe set that date for some of the breeds and some of the puppies to a little bit later time, but whoopsie, a little one. But you can definitely tell um, they're very confident puppies, very happy puppies. Um, we've not done their temperament testing yet, but again, from doing this for many years, I would say, again, very similar to the temperament of the other puppy, the personality. Um, very easygoing. They're confident. They're happy. He's going to be an easy to train puppy. Uh, fun to live with puppy. Again, would could do therapy work. Um, he's, I know you're so cute. Yes, you are. I know you're so cute. You're so cute, but I can't film you here. I know I want to hold him, but... All right, <laughs> hard to set them down. But anyway, um, yeah, very nice personalities. Again, sound structure. We breed very sound dogs, so um, good bone structure on them. Um, if you were gonna look at either puppy, like in the show ring, I would say it would come down to the judges because they're both about equal. I know you're not showing them, but um, some people are head hunters and would want this more typical poodle-y type face that has a, a, a leaner muzzle, a little bit less back skull, um, but the other one is not incorrect either. And actually for duck dogs, since they are retrievers and they're duck dogs, um, the older type poodle is, is more, um, what the breed was bred to be and to do, you know, with a wider muzzle. So, I don't know, neither are very extreme one way or the other, just subtle differences. And they're both really nice puppies.